Welcome to the template admin backend. The first page you'll see in the back end here is the dashboard and that'll show you information about your business like recent orders, revenue, etc. Along the left hand side you've got your main navigation for the back end. You're on the dashboard right now. The next item down is stats. And keep in mind this is for a real shop here so I've got sensitive information blurred out. So let's go ahead and click on the stats page. And this is where you'll see detailed stats about your business for any given time period. And you can choose the date range on the right hand side here. And if we scroll down, then you can see all kinds of detailed stats about your business. You'll see your top shop sections, new and returning customers, your sales from related product section, and I'll talk about that later, as well as your top performing products. If we click on the orders menu item here, this is where you can manage all of your orders. You can click in, see the details of each order. You can click on your customers to manage your customers. You'll see all of their orders, their templates. And you can even design as the customer by clicking this button. The next item down is assets, and this is everything that you're going to be adding to template. So you'll see all your templates in here, your design elements, any text elements that you've saved, the backgrounds that you've uploaded, any instruction files that you've created, and you can do this for specific templates. So you can create as many instruction files as you want, and your customer will see this right in their design area when they've got that template open. You'll see all the fonts you've uploaded, and you can change the display name of the font as well, so your competition or your customers don't see the exact font that you're using. You've got a related product section where you can create groups of related products. That way, if a customer purchases one product, they'll see all of the related products in the design area. And then a deleted template section, and this is where any of your deleted templates will go and you can restore them or permanently delete them from this section. The next item down is billing. So if we can click on your bill, you'll see your outstanding balance at any given time. You'll see your credit card on file as well as all your past statements. And you can click in on each statement and see the details of each statement. So you'll see all of the orders in the statement. The statement period runs weekly. It goes from Monday to Sunday. So Sunday night, all of your accrued template fees will be billed. And we've got a $25 minimum threshold. So if you haven't reached $25 in fees, then it'll carry on to the next billing cycle. If you hover over billing again and click on billing info, this is where you can add your debit or credit card on file. You can have multiple cards on file and set one card as the default. That way if that card doesn't go through for whatever reason, it'll charge to the next card. The next item down is settings. So we can hover over settings and then click on Etsy shop. And this is where you're gonna connect your Etsy shop to template. This is so template can see your Etsy orders pull in the order, create the customer an account on template, and give them the template that they purchased. To connect your Etsy shop, just click on connect your shop. You can connect more than one shop to one template account if you'd like. If you hover over settings again and click on demo page, this gives you the URL to your demo. So you can allow your customers to try out your templates before they purchase. So you'll want to take a look at the article about the demo page on template.com slash sellers and that'll give you the exact details of how to use this URL. But in short, you want to take this URL and then you'll follow it with the template IDs and then that way your customer 
can try out those templates, the exact templates that you want to show in the demo. If you'd like to change your demo URL, since it uses your username, if you want to show something different, just click on edit demo link and then you can change it to whatever you'd like. Well, that wraps up the back end of template.